Well, my name is uh, James Duller. I'm a U.S. Army veteran, and I served from 1990 to 2016. Well, Veterans Day originally came out of World War I. America had lost 116,000 men in that conflict. Uh, this is war on a scale that had not been seen by the rest of the world ever. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the armistice was signed that ended hostilities in Europe. A year later, on the anniversary, President Woodrow Wilson declared that there would be Armistice Day and that we would remember the sacrifices of the men that served and their bravery and appreciate the victory. This was done with parades and ceremonies and there was a two-minute cessation of business at 11 a.m. In 1926, uh, the Congress decided that they would make a formal declaration. It was not just a celebration of the soldiers that served in World War I, it was a celebration of peace and it was to uh, it was actually a peace holiday. Of course, it was a little early because in 1939, World War II began. And in 1954, President Eisenhower, in order to recognize the service of all those who served in World War II and Korea, changed it to Veterans Day. The last addition to it was in 2016, President Obama signed a Veterans Day moment of silence so that at 3.11 in the afternoon, there's supposed to be a two minute of silence recognized by the United States people. Here in America, we are blessed uh, with prosperity and freedom, uh, but we, what we are often short of is gratitude. It's an opportunity to reach out and thank those people who guaranteed those safeties, that prosperity and uh, freedoms.